Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you after this thankful Thanksgiving that we just had. Hope you all recovered from your turkey coma. Anyways, welcome to the channel. Uh, Divine Squad, thank you. Those my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments, right? Appreciate that. So, noobs, that's you, brand new to the channel. Grab your coffee. Come on in, hit the like button on the way in. And do some cusp readings. So I'm using my Lightseer tarot deck today. That's right. Lightseers, right? Oh, uh, sure. So, <clears throat> let's get into some cusp readings here. Let me get my handy dandy little chart. See who's up to bat. Let's see. Looks like it's Capricorn Aquarius. So, Capricorn Aquarius. Cusps, welcome. Come on in. Uh, you are the cusp of mystery. That's right. So, if your birthday was January 16th through the 23rd, Cusper. That's it. It all says it right there. So, buck up. All right. So, noobs, I lay two cards out. That is your energy. That is the balance of your duality. Your yin and your yang. Positive, negative. Light and dark. You get it. Okay. So then I'll lay more cards out here to tell you a story. That story has your message. And at the end, I will lay two more cards out to close your energy and send you on your merry way. Hope you guys have a great weekend. So, with that being said, here comes the first card. Let's see. Give one more shot. Okay, here we go. First card out. Yep. Seven of Cups. You got options. You got too much to, you know, deliberate. Or are you just mixed up in your emotions? I don't know. We're going to find out. So, come here. Power. That's it. That's chaos, destruction. That's uh, things coming down. Um, foundations being destroyed. Um, that's some pretty heavy energy right now. Okay. Let's find out why this is. Okay. Drink your coffee. Or your water. Whatever you got. <clears throat> Alright. So. Oh. <clears throat> Ace. Pentacles. Oh. Alright. That's the first card of your story. So here we go with the analysis. But I need to... Um, Get another card because I, I'm not sure if this is going to start or this is why you're in this tower moment. Okay, so let's get that. King of Swords. Okay, so really here what I'm seeing is, is that you are uh, a little mixed in your emotions. There are options here and so with this tower... Right. Noobs, this is for the this is for the now. This isn't for the past or the future. It's right now. So with the tower moment, that's your current energy, right? But there has sprung a new idea. Right? There's a new idea that emboldens you. The king of swords, your truth, your very much like the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is somebody that doesn't take any shit, cuts people off, but this guy can be cold, right? Not as in chilly, but cold as in cold-blooded. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Ace of Wands, man.
So there's... It looks like there's a bold idea that's coming in that's... That's a very passionate new start. Ace of Wands is like the boner card, but... Wands is your passion. It's your fire, your mojo, your drive, right? So with the Ace of Wands here and... Oh my God, you're getting two new starts. So maybe... Okay, let's just not maybe. Let's pull the card. Ready? There it is. Bam. <laughs> okay, so... There's two things happening here. There's a bold new idea that's coming out, right? Fresh idea, uh, a new a new start in your stability. And with the Ace of Wands here and the Hierophant, well, then you're going to have a passionate new beginning with a uh, Hierophant. Uh, that could be Taurus. But I don't really try to call those signs. And sometimes they just come out. You know, so hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of the divine family. I love it. Okay, so there's a new star with a higher fit. Somebody that is grounded in, you know, in their higher energy, walking their path, right? And then the Queen of Pentacles comes out. So it looks like this person's very stable, right? Very stable, very grounded, has their shit together, been working on their shit. Um, beautiful, intelligent, very stable, very grounded. Look at all the green in there. There's a lot of green up in there. So that definitely signifies um, grounding, stability, stable. Obviously, that's the verb word of stability. Is stable, blah, whatever. Anyways, any more coffee. It's too early. Have y'all probably even up yet? Anyways. Okay, so there's a new idea that's coming to you to have a brand new start. A very bold idea, though. You're, you're bold in this idea about having a new start with a Hierophant, who is very much on top of their shit and stable and uh, uh, abundant. Very abundant. Three of Swords, there's a heartbreak coming here. Sorrow, betrayed. Here we go. The sun card. All right. So there has been a time, or there is going to be a time, that you That you feel that there's interference. Okay, so you're gonna have a new start, right? Passionately with a higher thing, right? But this Queen of Wands brings heartache, and then the sun comes out here. So uh, the Queen of Wands isn't you, it's. It's somebody else. That's why we have this here, the Seven of Cups, mixed emotions, and then the Tower. So the, the Seven of Cups, because, check this out, people. The Seven of Cups is in between the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. So there are two people involved with this besides yourselves. And so with the Tower here, too, that is the indication of this heartache. Okay? So it with the Sun card right after the Three of the Three of Swords, you're definitely, that's a past heartache. And it was with the Queen of, uh, Queen of Pentacles. So you're, something is ending for you to now have, you know, the Sun card come out to be, you know, happy, joy, joy, peace, harmony, balance, right? Glowing, basking in the glow after this. Okay. Or... The queen of, well, this is your energy. Never mind. Let's get another card here. Eight of swords. All right. So it looks like with this 
bold idea that you want to um, have a brand new start with this Hierophant. Hierophant, however you want to say it. Potato, potato. <clears throat> Anyways. The Queen of Wands is heartbroken because they thought they were going to be in this with you. And that is causing this mental uh, overthinking trap. Or it's you that doesn't want to have this. You're just not sure. That's what it really is. I mean, with these two, it's, 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 this is, this is giving me mixed emotions. What the hell, people? <laughs> All right, but you're overthinking some shit that, you know, you should be happy about because you're done. That's what it is. You're done with the Queen of Pentacles. It's a little heartbreaking, but the sun will come out tomorrow. And, you know, even though you are kind of overthinking, well, should I have not have or should I have... You got this going on here, okay? So, it took a minute to pull that out. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, so the, the tower's on that side, and then the confusion, which is the, you know, seven of cups and mixed emotions is on this side. So you're really in the middle of not sure, but it looks like you are going with this first idea, and then the other part is, where, you know, the Queen of Wands is heartbroken. I mean, Queen of Pentacles. Why do I keep saying Wands? Barrel, Jacob, wham, wham. All right. Getting a little, a little topsy turvy here. Okay. So, I'm going to pull another card here after this Eight of Swords. Okay, Page of Wands. Right. So, bam. There it is. Right underneath the Ace of Wands. So, there's a. Oh, there's like a passing it, a pass, passing it, pacifying, whatever, passionate message that comes out, right? This could be, this could be them, which is the Hierophant bringing this to you, right? Bringing this one to you to what? Take action towards you. Yeah. Taking action towards you. Knight of Swords. So that's something. I mean, that's this message coming in fast, hard. Um, swiftly, however many adjectives you need me to pull, I will. But that's what it is. Look at running towards that bike. So he, this is coming in fast, like he's hauling ass. This is like determined, right? Determined. card yeah determined to have a whole bunch of love queen of cups queen of cups is uh strong balanced um on top of their emotions has a lot of love um but sitting there kind of by herself <clears throat> on her throne because she's got all her shit together. She's the queen, so you're taking action towards this Queen of Cups energy, which is the love and the tenderness and the nurturing and good things like that. To uh, hold on to this, Four Pentacles. Okay, so you, the, uh, this is really saying that we'll start from the beginning. Okay, you're mixed in your emotions about why the hell something's not working so right with this tower or you're wondering what the hell just happened and in that process there was a new idea that came very boldly to you about starting a passionate new beginning with a higher with a higher thing 
And the Queen of Wands may be somebody that was, you know, thinking they were up next or you were with them and they were being let go. Um, and that brought some heartache. <clears throat> but in that heartache, the sun shined to give you that, that nourishment that you need, that nurturing. Um, nourishing is in vitamin D. Nurturing is in the love to help you heal through this heartbreak. It's a little tear. <clears throat> Putting you in this um, trapped feeling, this bound feeling, this did I make the right decision feeling with the Eight of Swords. But there's a message that comes in to you very fast, very quickly about somebody that's got a whole bunch of love for you and they want to hold on. Hold on to you. And it's the Hierophant. So, it's basically the story in a nutshell, okay? Slow to start, but a quick to end. Like, meaning, now that it all comes together, okay? So, let me get the two cards for your outcome, and then send you on your merry way to work. Hope you like that. Okay. So, let me grab this next card. This was manifested. This was manifested. So it is you that does all this. You put the offer there. You take action towards this love and you want to hold on to it. Which is the new passion to start with a hierophant. Uh, because the magician card is underneath the seven of cups. So you were not thinking clearly until you had to decide. And when you made the decision, this basically says that you manifested this. You're the one that put it all in line. Not online, in line. <laughs> Here we go. Last card of your verdict. Queen of Wands. So you feel in this magician manifesting energy you feel that you now are sassy you are now intelligent well you've always been intelligent but you, you you're standing tall and very um what's the word i'm looking for here um i just go with sassy sassy is great it's like you were confident enough after you had figured out this tower to go ahead and plant those seeds, basically, right? Plant those seeds because you're strong. You are very independent. You got your own shit going on, right? So it's basically in a nutshell. That has been your reading. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I really appreciate y'all coming out here this morning after your turkey comas. And I hope that you hit the like button on the way in. And if you haven't, hit it on the way out. It's not because I have an ego. Goddesses don't have egos. But we do like to have the likes to share for other people like yourselves to go ahead and get these messages. So hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family. And that is it. So, enjoy your turkey sandwich leftovers. Peace and pray. See you again.